it's time for the team test. Today, the team tested the second generation of the Chrysler 300C. This is the all-new version of Chrysler's posh executive saloon, which aims to take on rivals like the BMW 5 Series and Mercedes E-Class. It costs between 36 and 40,000 pounds, and Chrysler claim it offers a brilliant blend of American luxury and comfort with European quality and road holding. Well, come on, Tiff, come and have a look at this beauty. No, I don't want to get any closer, Jason. The first impressions of the Chrysler, not good. This holds a lot of intrigue for me because Shut up. Are... I no, feel seriously. bilious. It's just not for me. The old car I loved because it had German underpinnings with an American body shell on it. Well, why does that make it lovable? Well, because it combined my two favourite things. <laughs> yeah, it was an old E-Class with an American body on it. And yeah. it was very mafioso. The problem this car has is that it's not a reshelled German car. And B, it doesn't look as good as the other car. And C, it's a lot more expensive. And C is the biggest problem. The same price as a BMW 530D that gets to 61 and a half seconds faster, that does over 10 miles to the gallon better. The insides are pulling. You know, the plastics, well, I'm, I, you know, I managed to pull most of the car apart. I've got it, I've got it. There we are. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just not good enough. You know, terrible fit, terrible finish, lousy materials. It's hard on my shins. Can you, is this seat where you're driving? I've got uh, no room. And then there was a no. And, oh, and then there was a get no. No. It is you quite might bad. have noticed Vicky's not with us, which is because I've got her blindfolded in my car. What? To really see whether Chrysler have upped the perceived quality of the 300C for its passengers, you need to remove any prejudices and preconceptions. Victoria, your time has come. Which means keeping Vicky in the dark. We set Vicky the challenge of guessing what the car was and how much it cost. It's quite quiet. Do you think it's powerful? No, I don't. I don't feel <laughs> any power at all. I didn't feel that I was being sort of pushed forward at all, and that you would think I would really pick up on, but there was none of that. I'm doing 80 miles an hour. You're joking. Yeah. OK, well, then, I... Noise-wise, acoustically-wise, I think it's quite good. Yeah. Jason was at the helm. Oh, poor Vicky was blindfolded and he threw it around a bit. We're having a decent conversation, so I think that I can tell that they've spent... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> the ride quality was bad, the steering wasn't good. And... <laughs> what, what do you think of the you corner? naughty boy! On the road, Jason couldn't find anything to say good about its handling either. It's a bit of a barge. You know, it's a bit of an old pudding of a car, really. I, I, there's no sense of power whatsoever. I know you've kicked down because I can hear it, but I don't feel any power. It's slow, it's heavy, it rolls around a lot. The seats have got no support. It's definitely not a European car. Okay, really? You can yeah. tell that? Yeah, I can. Quite difficult to tell if it was front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. Jason, can you oblige? Whoa! You can just sense movement, but even when Jason was slinging it sideways, it took me a little while to work out what was actually happening. Oh, rear. Yeah. Oh! We've got a bit of skiddage oh! going on. Oh, we're sliding. Smoke. Come on then, Vix. You felt its ride control. You've touched the luxurious or not. You've smelt the leather or not. How much is it then? I think. 25 to 30k tops. She got the price wrong. That's what I think it's worth. And what is it then? I think it is American. And considering that there aren't that many American cars sold in the UK, I'm going Chrysler. The fact that we're quite spacious, you sound quite far away. We're well away. And it's well specced. Right. I'm thinking I'm going a sort of four seater saloon. Chrysler's 300C, that's what I'm going for. You really? is good. So I'd worked out that it was a Chrysler and I was pleasantly surprised that it was a Chrysler because it meant that I was correct and I like being right. May I reveal myself? Yeah. Go on, reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, boys. And then you can have the mirror, which oh. Jason's removed. <laughs> the Chrysler 300C is reasonably quiet when cruising, but that's the best we can say. As far as perceived quality goes, it just doesn't feel like a £40,000 car. And from behind the wheel, it certainly doesn't drive like one either. It's not a good piece of kit. 
and I would recommend everybody not to buy it. Two. I couldn't find one thing good about the Chrysler, so I'll give it one. I'm going to give the Chrysler 300C an unfortunate 3.00. I'm going to base my score on my perception of the Chrysler's quality and the money, and for that, I'm going to give it a five. Which gives the Chrysler 300C a disappointing team test score of 11 out of 40, our lowest mark ever. Oh! oh! That's not better than mine. It is, it's because it's a smaller gap. It is, yeah, but it looks, it's not yeah, bad. Secretly, in my mind, was the desire to keep going. All right, breathe. Say quick prayer. On his lap, Karun had to decide exactly how much throttle to apply. On my lap, the car was doing it for me. 